Hey guys, Cobra here. Welcome to another Raisha Lanes video. Guys, this one will be a Doom Tower video, actually focusing on Griffin, that boss that gets really, really annoying for many of you guys out there. So if you've been playing the game for quite some time, then you might have the champions that I will discuss in this video. So it's two free to play available champions, very easy to get. I, I guarantee you've seen a video about this before and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So uh, if we go uh, right here, you've probably seen this creator called uh, Cold Brew Gaming showing this Sal of the Dregs Drexar beating uh, floor 90 of the Griffin uh, on the, the hard difficulty about three months ago. I know it's a video I made. This is not about that. I want to showcase this team again, but on my free to play account where my stats are much lower than what I had on my main account and the gear is much different. I have five star gear, rare gear on my free to play account. So I'm going to be showcasing the same thing and how with a little bit upgraded gear, you can go to higher difficulties. I'm going to showcase normal and hard version of the Doom Tower for this video. There's also other teams out there that can beat it. It doesn't have to be Drexar. Um, there's this team with Sal and Jareg posted by X Ronak on Reddit two months ago or something. He posted on how to beat it with this two-person team on Reddit. Um, this, there's like 91 upvotes, so many people have seen this team already. But I won't be showcasing that. I don't have, I don't even have Jareg on my free-to-play. But on free-to-play, I do have, um, I do have Drexar. So it's an easily achievable champion. Drexar is, and also if you get unlucky like me, you get him as a dupe from a shard. Before we get on with the actual showcase, guys, I just want to say, if you do like the music from this video, uh, I do have a cooperation with Soundstripe. You can just use my promo code coldbrew one where you get a 15% discount. Usually what I do with this kind of team, and if I want to do this kind of combo, is I need first a one champion that can clear the waves, and then one champion that can actually, um, you know, heal, and then one champion that can actually do the real killing. So... The champion that kills the waves for me is, is going to be, of course, my Herndig. It can be any champion out there that you think has a solid AoE. You don't need that champion, but it's going to make your life more difficult. Then we've got Drexar and Sal of the Drakes. So Drexar and Sal of the Drakes is the main two champions in this combo. I'm going to show you their gearing in the end, but I just want to show you how this works. So on normal Doom Tower, the waves are much, much easier to kill. And you might have seen that I have my Drexar in the leader slot. It's because he also gives an accuracy boost to everyone. So before you say anything, guys, in the comments, I know what the accuracy ha um, accuracy boost does on the Doom Tower for Sal the Drakes. But you'll notice what I'm saying once we get to the boss. So these waves are very easy. This is a normal version of the Doom Tower, the higher difficulty, the highest difficulty that you can find the Griffin on. And uh, we get through them very easily. But that's not the case on the... Um, hard version of the Doom Tower. The waves are much more difficult, so you might need somebody to help you clear and clear the waves fast. The good thing about the hard version is that those champions will usually die by the Griffin very easily. So you see here, you might have realized already what kind of gear Sal of the Drakes has and what kind of gear maybe my Drexar has. So from the healing that he's getting, he's on lifesteal. And the same thing with Sal of the Drakes. From the healing that she gets, she is in regeneration. If you guys don't know what Salva Drakes does on her A1, is that she can apply a decreased speed, which we have on the boss, but also she can reduce Termiter. So the bad thing about this boss is, if you reduce Termiter, is one of his passives, I believe, is that when you reduce uh, Termiter, you actually get a stun placed on you when you fully, um, when you place the reduce in Termiter, and then. Um, you are fully depleted in Terminator. So what Salvadrix does is she is fully depleted when she goes in there for the A1, but she's on high resist. That is the secret for this comp to work at a more consistent rate. You see all the resist coming up from Salvadrix right here. Resist, resist. Those are the stuns that the boss is trying to go for Salvadrix. So with better gear, better great hole, you can do this in the hard version of the Doom Tower as well. I do this, so this team would have beaten it if I let it for a little bit. I'll show you the difference uh, in just the waves in the hard version of the Noom Tower. So bad thing is I didn't have a key on my main account to do this, but it's fine because my main account has fully maxed out Great Hole. It's all six star gear in there. So I couldn't do what I'm doing now if I still used my, my main account. So I think it was, it was good that I'm on my free to play to show this, but see how much more difficult the waves are. They cannot clear them as easily as before, we can still stun them with Sal the Drakes. I mean, Sal will revive 
um, Drex are in there, it's just going to be much more time consuming. There's no reason for you to do it as a two man. There's no quest for this. So what I'm saying is just put in um, anybody with a defense, um, a defense down weekend, maybe any champion with a big AOE and they'll be able to clear. So I have Herndig for this. He's my nuker. Um, he is a fusion champion that we had before and he's the one that helps me just take through the waves. He'll die very easily once we reach the boss, even if he's um, strong affinity. He'll die and once you go to the higher difficulties of this boss, you'll see that it's even more difficult uh, for him to survive. Uh, it's fine though, because he can get revived by some of the Drakes, but once Drexar starts dying, that's when um, that's when Sal of the Drakes will be focusing on reviving Drexar because he's also in the leader slot. So here we're reviving Herndig, but that's because that's the only option for us to revive instead of anybody else. So um, here, just beating through the waves, that's what I want Herndig for. Just make this run under a minute to reach the boss. And um, obviously you can run a full team, but a full team has sometimes other problems in this boss. So you can keep it low, low amount enough for you to go through the waves and keep those two main, um, main champions needed once you are there on the boss. So we're here on the boss. The boss is way, way more hard to hitting and the higher difficulties you go, the more resistance you will need on South the Drakes. I would say that 300 resistance to 350 is nothing too crazy. The same thing with accuracy, you'll need about 250 to be on the same side. Even more is still great, but we do have um, Drexar there with the accuracy. Resistance is what makes it so, so powerful though. You'll need the resistance of South the Drakes and it's hard to get if you only have the gear that I have. So I'll show you the exact pieces once uh, we go through a little bit, but you'll see that even Dre Drexar will be running low, even with the lifesteal set, but um, we're doing okay. So the good thing about Drexar, even if he's weak affinity, is that when he gets hit, he applies the, the HP burn. And HP burn does a lot to this boss because um, whenever he gets a turn and he gets a lot of turns, he gain, um, gets a lot of damage dealt on him so this is running pretty pretty well i'm very happy with this run and look at that just look at that everybody's surviving and this is how it works all the way to um, doom tower 90 hard but let's go over and see the exact stats on everybody right here i won't show herndick i'll just show drexar and salva drex so first things first let's show drexar nothing too special there's a lifesteal set and a perception set the accuracy that he has is 274, 212 speed, 4.5k defense, 42,000 health. These are just me focusing on defense on the on the glove, um, defense on the chest plate. Perception gear is um, craftable. Three pieces of rare uh, five star for lifesteal and one epic five star. Um, it's five star perception as well, but I got lucky with the epics. And then there's two rare six star. Uh, amulet and banner those are much harder to get but i understand that but um you need to be farming spider if you are hoping to beat doom tower hard so um accuracy is at 274 with his uh aura it goes another 70 up so that's fine plus masteries he's totally fine he's running giant slayer which helps with the lifesteal and lifesteal helps him stay a little bit alive on the resist side you can go high resist on drexar but because he needs high defense just to withstand a few of those hits by the bird um i keep him with high defense try and get as much hp as possible i know it's not possible to do both both high defense high hp high accuracy high resist high it's insane right i know i know um what i do with this is just focus on the accuracy land those hp burns if he dies he gets revived by cell of the dregs it's all fine i have zero books on this guy so no investment in terms of books and it it works just fine then salva drakes this is the the champion that everybody wants to know about so salva drakes we get her at day 180 if you got her earlier fine she's great you can use two of them fantastic her skills um she doesn't need them to be maxed out but if they are maxed out it's better for you the passive is not affected by books so um you can actually be healing your team and reviving uh also uh, with the A3, but it, this will be on a longer cooldown if you don't have the books. It's fine though. The A2 doesn't really work on the boss, so uh, you don't care about all these cooldowns. These are helpful for the waves though. 
and her gear. Look at the gear that I have. I've got five star gear and I think, no, not, a, not even a single six star piece here, guys. So I do have a resistance set, which is harder to get, I know. I've got a couple of items level 216, except for the ring, uh, weapon, helmet, and shield. So you'll see the stats right here for these that are not that crazy. So uh, double speed roll on the weapon with a resist roll, double defense roll here instead of a speed and resistance. Maybe this would have been better. Um, here we got resistance, no speed. I've got accuracy here and critical damage, which we don't need. Then uh, this, this glove and chest are both HP primary. HP percent primary. This chest is horrible, but it was the only one that I had, so I had to level it up for this showcase. Ideally, here you would have speed and resistance and maybe accuracy in the substats, but um, attack flat, defense flat, critical rate, uh, very bad. And then the boots are, um, I mean, one resistance here, but ideally that would have rolled instead of the flat defense. Very basic stats here. And then um, we have an HP ring, the double roll on HP percent. That's good. Uh, defense, defense primary amulet with a resistance roll. This is very good. And then um, a defensive banner. So instead of a defensive banner, I could have run a resistance banner, but I just didn't have it. So that's a big upgrade for you guys. Possibly another 90 or so resistance with all that gear that I've shown you just now I have 213 with a good banner and better gear in terms of double rolls or triple rolls. Six star gear gives you higher range of rolls, better glyphs. You can easily reach 300 accuracy, um, 300 resistance. And the accuracy, you, you can go to about 200 if you push the subsets as well. And you go uh, maybe with, um, maybe you can change the masteries. Depends on what you wanna do, but also the lead from Dexstar, it helps with the accuracy. So you're at a pretty good point. In this you'll see that her speed is very low 172 you can go with a higher speed but um i found that this build is fine with lower speeds just not extremely low i still have the speed boots and as i said if i had better rolls i would have put the items with better rolls this is a more mediocre build and it totally suits the the case of two man two manning that uh the annoying griffin boss so masteries you don't need War Master. I'm just gonna say it. You don't need War Master. It helps in terms of damage, but this is not what kills it. So you can either go added resistance here with Unshakeable plus the resistance mastery right here. Maybe even go the um, uh, Blast Proof right here. Decrease damage received from AoE attacks from the Griffin boss by 5%. That's pretty good um, mastery. Or you can even go Eagle Eye here, but it's really important if you're gonna focus on accuracy, you need to have high resistance. You need to be resisting those stuns because a an unlucky stun here and there can actually be the cost of you and, and you dying. It doesn't matter if you get stunned because she will still heal. The, the regeneration set, set still heals you, but it's fine. I mean, you still want to take your turns. You don't want to be stunning her all the time. She won't be able to revive. If she doesn't revive, it, it's going to be a long run. You don't want to have two long runs. So I run her with high resist. It totally works. It's just great. Um, I love this build on Cell of the Drakes, but she needs to have that combo with Drexar to give her that extra accuracy. Of course, the higher you go on the Doom Tower, the higher version of the Doom Tower, the more accuracy you'll need. So as I said, these are very basic. I'll put here somewhere on the screen exactly what kind of ranges of stats you'll need. So take in mind of those stats when you're building it. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. As always, if you want to just help out the channel, check out Soundstripe. It's going to be a link down in the description and comments of the video. Just uh, the promo code cold brew, one word, 15% discount. Uh, download BlueStacks. That's the ways that you can support. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.